Welcome back to another episode of Cactus Quest. I'm your host, Hunter, and in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys an update of how my seedlings are coming along that I sowed a couple of videos ago. So for any of you guys that are trying to grow cactus from seed at home, now is going to be a great opportunity for you to see what progress my seedlings have made in the months since I've sowed them. And don't hesitate to ask questions in the comment section below. I'm in the middle of a move and having a baby, but I will try to be as responsive to those as possible. You can always follow me on Instagram as well at Cactus Quest. But before you do that, please make sure that you help out the channel by liking the video and subscribing. Without further ado, let's get on into it. Now, first things first, just to show you guys the setup and the growing conditions for how I'm actually doing seedlings, this is it. We're right inside of my garage and I have a four foot T5 six lamp grow light. So there's six bulbs. I'm running five of them at the moment. And then they are sitting on top of a VivoSun four foot by two foot heat mat. This is nothing special. You can find all this stuff on Amazon. Or if you know, you're know you not a fan of Jeff Bezos, then go buy it somewhere else. You can find it elsewhere as well. And then I run these lights. This might seem crazy to some people, but I run these lights 20 hours a day and they get two hours of downtime and i do that in the hottest part of the day because this is outdoors in my garage i do it at the warmest part of the day and i keep the garage closed so they're actually in the dark and uh, that's how i'm doing it and so far it has been very successful i haven't had any issues whatsoever i'm actually even trying to root a cutting of sararia namaquensis which seems to be blooming or growing or something that could be because it's dying and it didn't work or it could be because it's growing only time will tell but anyway, let's take a look at these seedlings. And so here they are. Now, you saw how I did the seedlings in the last video. So I had switched over to the regular two inch pots and then we'll take a peek. These have been in here long enough to where I can go ahead and open them up. And you can actually take a look at how these things are coming along. Now these are Agave Utahensis nevidensis. And I was uh, lucky enough to get some of these seeds from a fellow uh, YouTuber, Crime Pays But Botany Doesn't, so that's why I labeled it here, so I remember where these came from. And these have been in the bag for about a month. I have not opened it. This is the first time I've ever opened it, so I have not had to rewater these at all. Now on the flip side, here are a handful that I just recently took out of the bags. We've had uh, a heat wave here in Southern California. And so they tended, what I was noticing is they were really drying out. So I took all of these out of the bag, put them into this container where I can keep water. And as you can see, they're coming along really nice. We're starting to get our first spines on both of these Turbany Carpus. So we have Turbany Carpus Valdezianus. Uh, you gotta love a plant that has anus in the name, baby. And then uh, this is Turbany Carpus Lafophoroides. And these are from the Las Tablas locality in Mexico. And then the Copiapoa giganteas, I didn't get as good of a germination rate on these. I only got two out of the 10. Uh, and we're starting to get our first spines on these guys as well. Um, and again, this is the only set of the seedlings that I have had to rewater. Oh, I can't fit it back in there. There we go. Uh, and then we've got the Stenocereus sulfurius. And these are SB2. These are from San Luis Potosi and the Turbany Carpus Alonzoi. And you can just take a, a, a notice and look at how small the seedlings are comparatively. So Turbany Carpus Alonzoi, like microscopic little seedlings, and then Valdezianus and Lophophoroides are kind of like standard for your average cactus seeds. And for anybody that's wondering, this is not airtight, just something I bought at the 99 cent store. Uh, it does the trick and, and really the goal is to be able to have humidity. That's all they need. They need tons and tons of humidity. Now, moving right along, here are some seedlings that I did last year. And so we've got a couple of different things here. We have uh, Copiapoa scenario. Now, there's some variability here. I'm not sure if these are all true scenario. I don't remember where I got the seeds, but you can see this one has lighter colored brown spines. This one has black spines, and then this one's got the lighter colored brown spines. They're all growing at the same, same pace. So I definitely think they're in the scenario complex, but I do not think that they are straight up scenario. This one could be Aldespina for all I know. And then if we take a look here, these are Astrophytums. And this is one of the cool things I wanna show you. This is one of the, the 
Um, special parts of growing from seed. If you go to a nursery to buy an astrophytum, you're gonna buy standard astrophytums and they're gonna be 20, 30 bucks or whatever it is. When you grow from seed, you get all of them. So if you look at this one here, that little section is starting to crest and it's cresting off this monstrous astrophytum. I get to keep that freak and it was free. It was the cost of a seed and these seeds came off of my own plants which is pretty awesome. Now as far as the seedlings that I sowed in the last video, we have a handful here. So we'll take a look at them and see how they're coming along. So this is more seeds that I actually got from, from Joey from Crime Pays Botany Does It. This is Hamato Cactus. I believe that he collected this seed in Texas and these are coming along really well. This was sown on the 4th of last month. So these are a little over a month old. And that bag seems to be drying out a tad bit, so I may end up shifting a few more of these into the plastic containers. And then let's take a look here. Here are some of this year's batch of astrophytums. And these are all uh, astrophytum hybrids. So these are gonna be different Myriostigma hybrids that I took off my own plants. And these are all from seeds that I pollinated. And these are, today is the 29th, so these are just a little over one month old. They were sown on the 20th of last month. And then for the last little bag here, I'm not gonna go through every single bag I sewed, but to show you guys a handful, we have Areocarpus retusus. There's probably 20 or 30 of them in here. Um, and these were given to me by uh, Cal from LA Succulents. So he's, he's uh, quite an exceptional Areocarpus grower and was kind enough to provide me with some seeds so we could get more plant material out there and get more people growing, which is why I make these videos in hopes to encourage other people to grow these rare and endangered plants uh, from seed and make them more widely available to help bring down the costs and make them accessible for anyone who's interested in them. And that is essentially it. This one's gonna get rewatered because as you can see, it's starting to dry out a little bit. And that's the update for the seedlings. That's how things are coming along. If you have any questions or you'd like to hit me up, you can ask in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram and send me a direct message. Um, it might take me a little bit to get back to you, but I definitely will. And uh, yeah, happy growing. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Until the next time, peace. <music>